time we have Mike Gray with us from the Humane Society of Central Texas and a very cute, calm pup named Tom. Tom. Calm Tom. Tom Tom. Tom, Tom. Tom, Tom. There Tell we us go. about Tom. Tom is about a 10 year old uh, male little cattle dog. He is getting tired. It's past his bedtime. He's still pretty sleepy here. Uh, he is very calm. He's potty trained. Uh, he appears to be good with other dogs. Uh, he's just way oh. too old. Um, to be uh, up in that shelter. Uh, kind of breaks your heart seeing him laying there in that bed, so uh, he really needs a, a home quick. So, um, like I said, he's 10 years old, he's housebroken, he's really calm, really chill, probably the easiest dog you could ever own. Um, you know, give him, you know, his last couple years, be, be nice and on your couch and be a good little boy for you. And I'll tell you what, I've, I've spoken to a lot of different people who have uh, adopted older dogs and they're say, they say there's something so rewarding about kind of giving the last part of their life something yeah. special and showing them love. And Tom looks like he deserves it more than I can, uh, just many, as, as, as much as any other dog, right? Yeah, he is such a sweet boy. Uh, he really does deserve it. He's, you know, uh, just, oh, here he goes, look at him moving around. Oh. He's like, yeah, don't, finally don't, tell, don't, tell, don't tell Tom he's 10 years old, because look at him, look at this guy. Don't tell Tom he's 10, because he doesn't know that. He still walks great on a leash, uh, rides well in the car, um, just a real pretty, pretty dog. And, and he's still very fashionable, as you can see by yeah. his sweater, so he's keeping up with all the latest <gasps> trends, uh, oh. looking good. And uh, tell us about the other pups you have, and how you doing with numbers right now. Uh, we have, actually had a really cool pup named Ali. He's a, uh, about a five-year-old uh, American Bulldog mix. Uh, they actually put him through search and rescue training oh, wow. uh, last week, and he passed it. But he's a year too old to go into the program. Oh! But he has no natural, no no training any, any kind. He can't sit, but with the ball, they would throw the ball on these rocks, and they would hold him back for like over a minute and let him go. And he would go and he'd find it, and he'd bring it back. Wow! And he'd search for it for over five minutes, and he wouldn't quit and bring it back. It's, he's impressive. So that he's also up for adoption. He's, a, he's available for adoption. If you got you know anybody that plays baseball. He'll shag a baseball. I uh, tested him out with that the other day. He wow. does shag baseballs. Um, he is awesome. I put the ball underneath my hat the other day at the fire station, and he went and he lifted my hat up and grabbed the ball and brought it back. You know, it might be good to bring out in the golf course if you're someone that shanks into the woods quite oh, a bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there we go. I know Zach just raised his hand, and, and gosh knows that's true. Uh, but that's awesome. So a lot of great pups are available for adoption, and Absolutely. this little guy's available today at 11, right? He is available today at 11, and he can go into foster or be adopted or go to rescue. He's just a sweet little boy. He's looking at you, Heidi. He's like, so sweet. I know. He's like, I want to hang out on your couch. Oh. What a cutie pie. Go out and meet Tom or all the other animals they have at the Humane Society of Central Texas. There are so many great options. Adopt, don't shop, uh, and hopefully we'll get Tom adopted later today. And you know what? I'm going to say to you, Tom, happy adoption day. Thank happy adoption you. day. Thank you. Stay with us. Your birthday shout is coming up right after the break.